paper towel. Jennifer and Bailey like lives in the quiet towel. neighborhood of College Park in Gulfport. She purchased this home in January of 2009. I signed the papers January the 15th of 09, but he let me move in in December of 08. After living in the home for a few months, Bailey said she suffered from various ailments. I have lead, arsenic, and mercury in my body. Bailey was shocked to learn a home was once the site of a meth lab. Almost a year and a half before she purchased the home at 2407 Middlecoff Drive, Gulfport police were there to make a meth bust. But no one has ever told me anything about this being a meth house. Uh, was it busted? They had precursors. Nothing until my neighbor told me. That's when Bailey decided to have the home tested for the dangerous chemicals used to make meth. I had the first lab tech come in here and they script, they put a little white thing on there, like a square, and he said it was a 10 by 12. Dave Bingham with Micro Methods Laboratory inspected Bailey's home. We definitely tested the uh, kitchen and uh, it, we had a positive result uh, for methamphetamine um, above what, what we consider a clean level. More than four years after the meth bust, Bailey says meth residue continues to drip down walls, coming down from the attic. The streaks are easily visible on the bathroom walls and inside the cabinet. Bailey should have known that a meth lab was in this house before she bought it. Property owners are required to tell potential buyers on the official disclosure statement, but Bailey says on her paperwork, the no box was checked on the line that covers meth. Bailey bought the home from Jay and Marie Schroeder, Gulfport Realtors who owned the property at the time. According to a letter from the Gulfport Police Department, the Schroeders also owned the home at the time of the meth bust. On August 6, 2007, the Gulfport Police Department Special Operations Narcotics Division sent the Schroeders a letter to inform them that a meth lab was discovered in and about the residence at 2407 Middlecoff Drive. The police department advised the Schroeders that the home should be cleaned and sterilized by professionals to avoid any sickness related to possible toxins remaining in the home. Bailey says she shared what she learned with Jay Schroeder, and she says he promised to cover the cost for the test. When we gave him the results, he still did nothing about it. I started seeking attorneys because I needed help to get this matter taken care of. I was requesting him just to give me back what I gave him for this house. I wasn't asking for nothing more than that. I spoke with Marie Schroeder on the telephone, and she said she had no comment and hung up. I also spoke with Jay Schroeder's attorney, who told me he could not comment because Bailey is suing the Schroeders. Action reporter, A.J. Jardina, WLOX News. When I did with the paper towel, when I wiped it, I had oil. I thought it was a little weird. So I wiped it some more.